So we're about to tame that zombie pigman over there, and BAM! I think it's tamed. Oh my gosh, we just tamed the zombie Hey, what's going on guys? Log that zip here. Holy Jesus. For today's video, the block we're going to be featuring is quartz. That's right, nether quartz. While mining nether quartz ore is a fantastic source of experience for your Minecraft leveling system, it's mostly used for decorative purposes. One of the lovely white blocks that you can use to add to your various builds. But my friends, wouldn't it be awesome if nether quartz was just a little bit more useful? Well, we want to see, man. How the heck do you tame a freaking zombie pigman? Of course, this is possible through the use of an add-on called the Useful Nether Quartz add-on. Hey, my friends, we're going to be looking at the Useful Nether Quartz add-on, which is... It was also created by Nightwalker Lots, so huge shout-outs to him. Which is an add-on by Nightwalker Lots that adds tons of content to Minecraft, all involving Nether Quartz. What it does is simple, but rather... It doesn't change too much, so Minecraft is still essentially the same with just a, a tiny bit of like quality of life changes that just make the game a lot more smooth to play. The best part about this add-on is it doesn't change anything else about your Minecraft world. It's not replacing things, it's literally only adding on, <laughs> hence the add-on. This quartz block has a special feature that will influence these three mobs, and yeah, this quartz block is really useful now as you can tame the pigmen. All right, guys. So we're gonna try to tame the zombie pigmen, right? So first of all, again, some extra quartz just in case, you know, we need a little bit more. Literally, check this out, guys. Oh my gosh, we literally just tamed the zombie pigmen in one hit. And okay, zombie pigmen, are you gonna help me out? I need you to like actually, okay, first of all, the zombie pigmen can actually hold onto stuff, but the zombie pigmen will actually attack things that attack you. I don't know if you saw that, but it's pretty cool. So let's like tame a few more. I think you can literally tame more than one. It will only take one quartz, guys. So watch this, right, watch this, okay? So we're about to tame that zombie pigment over there, and BAM! I think it's tamed. Oh my gosh, we just tamed a zombie pigment, guys. Right. So we've got five blocks here. Maybe it's enough to tame my boy. Yo! Yeah, we got him tamed! What's good, baby? It only took four blocks of quartz. Store your, store your items in the pigment storage. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. They store items for you. Look at this. Eat zombie pigment has got a full chest worth of space upon right clicking. But look at this. You can actually open him up and it says zombie pigment right over here. He has his own inventory space. So like Oh no, wait. Pigman. Pigman, no. So over here, we have second, the Iron Golem. Now usually, if we hit him, he he can't generate, regenerate. So we feed him block of quartz to make his hearts go up. Yeah, you can heal Iron Golems with block of quartz, which is really, 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 really awesome. You feed him that, if you just give them normal nether quartz, you can actually trade zombie pigmen now. You can trade them for golden nuggets, which of course I think can be crafted into golden ingots if I have a crafting table. Now, not only will they attack other creatures for you, but they'll also keep other creatures away. For example, we've got some creepers over here. The creepers do not blow you up when they know you've got some zombie pigmen nearby. These new pigmen are basically your bodyguards. Moving on to the next feature, these villagers look actually really, really nervous because we have a bunch of zombie pigmen guarding them. But right in here, some of the trades have been changed. So it looks like the leather worker is the same, librarian is the same, the butcher. Five blocks of quartz for three golden apples. I think that's a pretty good deal. Five block of quartz for three golden apple. That's crazy. I got three golden apples and is he going to upgrade his trading system? Yeah, seven, oh, 12 block of quartz for a diamond, seven blocks for an iron ingot. Wow. And summoned in some phantoms because it should be worth noting that they work in a similar manner to the creepers. If you got your piggies mm. around, the phantoms will leave you alone. And apparently 
these phantoms will not, like, attack me when I'm in the company of all these tamed zombie pigmen around me, so... Yeah, thank you guys for that. I'm not exactly sure how true that is, but I'm pretty sure, like, they would have, like, jumped down by now seeing, like, you know, the player just wandering aimlessly throughout the area. But since I have, a, like, literally an army of zombie pigmen, these guys won't attack me. But, oh, oh. So, I'm gonna do this one next. But first off, bottles of enchanting. They will actually give you more XP. So, I go right now, I'm gonna have a, like, I'm gonna try to do a side-by-side -side comparison on what the normal bottle enchanting levels do versus what this one does. So, 10 bottles, how many levels are we gonna get? Oh my goodness. Alrighty, 32 levels. I, I definitely don't think 10 bottles of enchanting would give you 32 levels in the old version, like, you know, without the add-on. But I don't know why this is a feature, and I don't really think the add-on creator, like, knows why this is a feature either. He just added a little note where... He did it in testing and the like he seemed to get good feedback on it so he kept it also th some changes to these guys as well in the spirit of the fact that courts give so much experience these bottles give a lot more as well look what happens when i give myself no experience and throw one of these down 11 levels for one bottle of enchanting